It's one book. There's one city. Uh, it's a big city. It's a complicated city. It's a city of neighborhoods. There are all these pockets. Hundreds of uh, languages, so many different cultures. There's a lot of separateness. We have people who are living on the streets, professionals working in Center City. People of all ages, of all ethnicities and reading levels. People speaking Cambodian, people speaking Creole. African American, Latin American, Asian, Caucasian, Middle Eastern. I always hear, you know, cheesesteaks and pretzels and Ben Franklin. But when we read these books and we have this collective experience, we realize it's so much more than that. It's the war, it's the civil rights, it's the injustice, it's the Underground Railroad. It's Iran or homelessness or mental illness. There's tragedy and then there's triumph. There's conflict and resolution. So we have to have something that helps us come together. The book gives you a place to talk. On the bus, at the supermarket. It brings the whole city together. To me, it's like sharing a really great meal. It creates intersections where people can learn to appreciate each other. It gives an opportunity to reduce conflict where there might be conflict between communities. Tell me why. I, I, I want to understand. You know, you're sharing ideas, you're meeting new people, you're talking, and you're savoring this experience. We can have that dialogue. We don't have to be afraid. It's like it built a process of compassion in the city. And for me, that's the best way to make community. Somehow, one book, one Philadelphia always chooses very strong, powerful, charismatic individuals. These writers, none of them is apologetic about anything. They are in your face. You know, the reservation and how it was and, you know, kind of like how the alcoholics were and stuff like that. It was kind of like we can all relate to something like that. By choosing the whole city to read that book, it sort of took the process of a personal Iranian family experience that people within a certain ethnic community knew well and expanded it to being an entire city's experience. And it gave me personally an incredible sense of belonging that I had never really experienced before. It was the first time in Philadelphia there had been a real conversation about what happened to the people who lived during that time, like the Navy children, the Army brats that were here during the war. What happened when their fathers came back? To be honest, I'm just being honest with you. I'm reading this story, but I am so there in the everyday because I guess I know so many Nathaniel Ayers. Uh, I think so. I like the fine arts books to create dangerously. Yes, because they uh, make the, a huge impact uh, case about immigrants. I'm an immigrant, I'm part of immigrant too. My class had a big discussion about that, about how, you know, how does that relate to us and what, what does it matter. A lot of parents say, I didn't know my child felt that way, or I didn't know I felt that way. So we never know what's inside us. There may be some horrific things. There may be some joyful things. This experience of the book and the discussion allows us to transport ourselves to this sort of exotic place, misunderstood place. And it was a kind of a peek into a world that I had never seen before because I never, you know, as someone who is not a part of that culture, I don't detect those same kind of nuances. Maybe one of the definition for a really good experience reading is that you're not the same person you were before you read the book. One Book, One Philadelphia is one of the most spectacular ideas uh, that's come along in the city in decades. We needed something that would really excite everybody, bring everybody together, and of course I love the library and I thought the library was a perfect place to generate this program. My book, The Price of a Child, was chosen to be the first One Book, One Philadelphia choice. Every year we pick one book and we'll always have a selection for an adult, a teen, and a child. And we pick something that's really gonna get people's brains going and create lots of passionate discussion. For me, it meant that this book was confirmed. It was validated. It was also read. The selection just provokes such interesting conversations and the events are fun and people come out to them. We invite orchestras and museums and schools and arts organizations and regular people and homeless shelters and colleges and high schools and elementary schools even. Dance, theater, music, um, cooking, 
related to these different books. Programming for One Book, One Philadelphia, looking for those connections between cultures, between countries, between communities through art and music. I look forward to this every year. Many of these books have you know, taken us uh, through American history, they've taken us uh, internationally. It lifts my spirits. It takes me to another place. It gives me new things to think about. It, it speaks like straight from his heart out to um, any, uh, anybody else's heart who is willing to take it. When a beautiful story is told and it's told well and vividly, how can we not relate? As a teacher, I wanted my children to be reading maniacs. I wanted them to learn and to travel and to go through books. Programs like One Book, One Philadelphia puts those books in their hands. It started freshman year. Uh, we read a book by Sherman Alexie called The Absolute True Diary of a Part-Time Indian. Everybody at school wanted to read this book. And kids were reading it in two, three days and then immediately passing it off to the next person. When he came to me and said, Dad, there's going to be a book that I got to pick for school and I want to read this book, but there's going to be a chance for me to meet the author. Can I go? Can I go? This book was everywhere on Project Home. Everywhere on Project Home. We gave it to the residents, we gave it to our staff, the board. I was on a bus going out to Penn, and two people on the bus were reading The Price of a Child. And I thought to myself, this is what it's all about. Well, you multiply those two people by hundreds, by thousands. I was greeted at the door by a guard who was reading uh, What is the What? I walked away saying, oh my gosh, Every, talk about everybody getting involved in it, even, even the guards who bring you into the building are, are totally involved in the program. I just had to let him know that he changed my son's life. If he can change any kids from not reading to reading, that's a great writer. I would really love to see one book become one book, one Philadelphia, one the rest of the universe. Really, my feeling is it's the way our world should be. <laughs> I think people should take one book, one Philadelphia as the model for how American society should operate. It just instills a sense of, of um, can I say brotherhood or caring about other people because this is the magic of books. All the books that have gone out, I don't have a favorite yet because the most exciting thing is the next book that's going to come out. That's going to be my favorite. Philadelphia is the, the ideal is the city of brotherly and sisterly love, and I think that this program helps to bring us closer to that ideal.